What is going on guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was against this Brazilian clan. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Uh, we'll just flip over here. As you see, it was victory for Invicta against the Easter Dinos. Um, I think that's how you might pronounce it or how, what they're thinking. Uh, but yeah, 20 star victory for Invicta really brought the heat in this war. Was very impressed. Um, you know, they they really didn't stand a chance. Even if even if uh, the start the three star count was higher for the Easter Dinos, uh, Invicta seriously brought the heat. Um, we'll just quickly roll through what they did. So you can see they missed quite a few of the nines. Um, really struggled on that overall three star count. Uh, did get all the tens except for Morrow, got a one star on that one. Uh, as you can see, three star count was 25 to 5. So, Invicta, really good job, guys. Three Town Hall 10 triples and cleared the nines. So, beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Well done, Invicta. Um, I do just kind of want to hop in uh, and get some of these replays shown here. Uh, definitely going to show you these uh, TH10 triples. So we're going to start with Dude here, number five, hitting number two. Um, so no joke of a base, right? All max town hall defenses. Um, you know, uh, nothing to scoff at here. I mean, 25, 24 heroes, not nothing crazy. But uh, again, dude only has 31 queen, 34 king, right? So he sends in that giant by his king a little bit extra time. Um, the wall breaker never made it through, but the king's just going to rage up, beat through that wall. As soon as he does, he's going to lock right onto that queen. In he goes, down goes the defensive queen, a couple swipes, there it is. Air defense goes down, beautiful. Kill squad's job is done. CC troops are pulled, but it doesn't matter. Dude goes ahead and sends, drops one Lava Hound on each of those air defense, starts sending in the loons at all angles, just three per defense. Um, sweeper does give him a little bit of trouble here, but the haste go down, really just going to get a huge push in onto that Inferno. Uh, goes ahead and drops another Hound in on that uh, that air defense. He's got a full Hound. That other Hound swapping over now too. Takes a mine though and bursts, but the freeze goes down over that Inferno. Crossbow and Tesla, so great value there. He's got a huge clump of balloons now. He's about to rage it up. They're going to rage onto the crossbow, over to the other crossbow. He's also going to drop another freeze. There it goes. Locking onto that uh, locking onto that crossbow next. So once that sweeper goes down, there's another pack of balloons coming in from the backside. So, I mean, at this point, the base doesn't stand a chance. Got two more Lava Hounds here that are unburst. Is it two or one there? Maybe I'm blind. Yeah, there's two. Um, but really, a few more defenses remaining, and it is clean up. The dude just rocked this base. Nice, man. Very nice triple. Like I was saying, guys, you know, you, this can be done with lower level heroes. You don't need 44 heroes to make this happen. You just need great deployment. You need great execution from that little suicide uh, suicide swap there. Um, and, and a lot of times you will come away with the three, whether uh, you like to believe it or not. Uh, just take some practice. So nice job, dude. Uh, let's check out the next TH10 triple of Mark hitting number four. So same idea here, same 31 queen, 35 kings, so not max heroes. Um, gonna go ahead and drop the jump, drop that giant first. Couple wizards down to help push everything through. Gets his king in there, immediately locks onto that defensive queen, rages it up, and down she goes. Uh, this queen gets locked onto the uh, the air defense here in one moment. Or sorry, she gets logged onto the lava hound. Actually, this air defense stays up. And actually, I just showed a 2.0 recap where KNX uh, did not get the air defense either. And is your deployment with the hounds and your balloons is so on point with your freezes on point. It doesn't matter that there's still four air defenses remaining in this base. This isn't a max 10 by any means, but, um, you know, it's got some town hall 10 defenses. Like still, this is no joke. Like this is not an easy three star by any means whatsoever. So good value on that freeze Inferno cross expo and the Inferno tower looking good. Hounds moving across to one of those air defenses. Another hounds going to the other one. So just great placement drops a few back end balloons to make sure they drop right onto that uh, air defense. Uh, everything's looking good, you know. Rage is pushing everything through. That Inferno Tower is now dead. And there's really only a handful of defenses remaining. You know, he's got pups spread out all over this base, just kind of doing cleanup all at once. Mark, just rock this base, man. Good job. Fast forward this a little bit. Last air defense is down. Sweeper is down. Just got that Wizard Tower on that, and Wizard Tower, Arch Tower on that bottom end. Very poor sweeper locations in this base, but Mark just exposes that like a boss. Arch Tower is dead. Sweeper is dead. This attack might have been really close on time because he does lose a lot of his pups here. Look, look how close this was. Another second to go with those pups and it was over. But uh, Mark pulled it through. Nice job. And Mark actually had a six-star war. So we're going to check his other TH10 triple here. 
This one, I believe he does get the air defense, so it goes a little more smooth. Again, kind of a very, you know, mostly Town Hall 9 defenses in here other than the uh, Infernos. Even the crossbow or Expos are still level 3. does have a level 2 one there as well. So not the greatest of bases, but these are the types of bases you're going to see in, uh, you know, your random Clan War matchups. Uh, that you can get shots on. I mean, I've mentioned before, you, you probably don't want to be going for triples on tens unless the nines are cleared. Uh, that's definitely not a good idea. But if you're just looking for some practice, this is the way to do it, guys. S hero swap. Make sure you get an air defense and you take out the queen and you get the CC pulled out. And then you send in a quad Lalo just on the remaining air defenses and hastes. Here, here come the hastes. One and two, pushing everything into that core. He's got a rage and three. He's got a rage that's going to go down with these two freezes. Going to get huge value on these freezes. Boom, there goes the first one. Doesn't quite get those Teslas, but has another one for this back end Inferno and crossbow and the two Teslas. So awesome value on that freeze. All the balloons are on top. Inferno tower is down before the freeze even wears off. Takes out that crossbow just as the freeze wears off. Couple, really, there's an air defense, arch tower. Uh, cannon down here not much remaining of this base it is clean up mark with the six star war some beauty town hall 10 triples really nice man i like to watch these that's your three beautiful all right had a couple town hall nines i wanted to show you bbj had a beautiful attack here I was watching this earlier it's kind of a govaho with earthquake uh, so he's going to start around the 6 o'clock position. Yeah, there goes his golem. He's going to send in a shattered entry, kind of create his funnel here. You always need that super wide funnel when you're bringing Valks. So it goes ahead, goes ahead and creates that. In a moment, you're going to see this earthquake go down. He leaves these few buildings up. This, this one specifically and this Tesla so that when he drops his Valks right here, they're just going to go right to that Tesla and then into the rest of that base. Um, you don't necessarily have to have the hugest funnel with Valks, but what you do need it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Uh, what you do need to have is the, those breadcrumbs that are you're going to draw your Valks straight into that base. And once they're in there, that's good. You know, he's looking looking golden. Drops a heal for those Valks, which is nice. They're just going to take out a huge, huge more chunk of this base and goes ahead and sends in the Hogs. His Hogs, he wants to wrap up and around this base. Um, as you can see, he's taken out a, a bomb right there. Is that were there two bombs there? Hard to see. Um, but really, he's looking pretty solid at this point. Drops the heal a little bit early. He wants to keep those hogs in. He's going to reinforce. There goes one, two, send in a few more. I think he's going to send in four more on that archer tower. Kind of keep everything move that, moving through this base. Crossbow goes down. Air defense is about to go down. There, there go the rest of his hogs on that arch tower. He just wants to keep forcing everything back to this kill squad. Uh, no heals remaining, but you already got a few. You've got a cleanup wizard on this outside, which is perfect. Right, guys, when you're placing your cleanup wizards, look, he's got one on this outer defense kind of like a ring of trash on the outside he's got a wizard on either side and that's that's how you want to drop your cleanup troops so these hogs barely make it through to this this last archer tower they're going to turn onto this king <laughs> uh really try and take out the king but i think the king ends up taking more uh, only a couple hogs left for cleanup but it doesn't matter his queen's still in there doing work about to take down that defensive king they're going to continue on cleanup rages it up drops that clan castle in no time Nice attack, BBJ. Great placement on your cleanup troops. Great uh, great entry with those Valks. You know, you really left that breadcrumb for them, let them work in there, and, and gave them the heal they needed. So, beautiful job. Nice one, BBJ. And one more. What do I have? We'll go down to the bottom of the map. I know you guys like seeing the diversity uh, on what I'm showing on the war map. I haven't shown one of kickbacks attacks in a long time, so I wanted to show KB here. Bring in a little queen walk with a shattered goho. Uh, goes ahead and drops his queen. Three healers at this top section. He's basically going to try and get this whole top area. Um, there is, I believe, a double giant bomb right where that king is standing right now. So his goal is to take out all these defenses, including that air defense. As soon as that air defense goes down, this double giant bomb is now pretty much null and void because no hogs are going to path back and forth there. So he's looking good. So as you can see, queen walk's going in. He's already sent in his golems. He's creating this huge funnel. Um, saving a golem in the bag there it goes finally drops it uh, drops the king there he knows the king's gonna balance between those buildings and just make his way into that base nice part about the queen walk here is the lava hound in the cc so he goes ahead that's why he dropped the golems early so he get the cc pulled to his king not to his queen doesn't want that queen locked up on that lava hound for too long rage goes down 
just to make sure he deals with that king. It's going to end up taking down that crossbow, air defense, and all in no time. So um, really the job is done here. He's now sent the other prong of his attack here right on that uh, air defense because as soon as that air defense goes down, the other double giant bomb is taken care of. So things are looking fantastic at this point. He's about to send in the hog portion of his raid now that both these double giant bombs are defused. He's going to send him in, I believe, from the 3 o'clock spot here and just kind of wrap him into this base. He's got two heals for them, so that's good. There go that. There goes the other double giant bomb set, and right on cue, here come his hogs. Beautiful timing on the hogs. Helped protect his queen a little bit from this Tesla trap. If she had walked around that corner, those three healers would not have been enough. So good timing on that. Early heal under those Teslas. Great job. These hogs are just going to path up to that whiz tower and kind of just start working their way to this one last major area of defenses, which he has one more heal for. As you can see, the heal's about to go down. Right now, boom, there it is. Keeping those hogs healed over that crossbow. Reinforcing really only a couple whiz towers and a sweeper left, and then those two point defense up there. Um, I guess there's a couple more, but really his base doesn't stand a chance. He's got hogs everywhere now. Um, looking good from this point. It is clean up after these hogs get up there, deal with that cannon, deal with that archer tower in no time. He's got cleanup wizards again. Great job on the cleanup with cleanup troops there, guys. Um, dropping them right at the end of the rings, uh, ring of those defenses. So uh, we've got wizards working on the high HP. Still has his queen in there with the healers at full health. Looking good. Hogs are wrecking the trash in the middle of this base. Beautiful three-star KB. Nice job, buddy. All right. Great war, Invicta. Um, you know, cleared the nines, a few TH10 triples, just just beautiful execution, guys. Um, I can't take anything away from that. Uh, just fantastic job. I can't I can't edify uh, edify you guys anymore. I mean, uh, great great job. All these swarm guys really revitalizing Invicta um, with a lot of the. Uh, old core veterans that are really working well together so uh hats off gentlemen really good war uh i think i'm gonna call it a day from here uh so that should do it for your wisdom from wiser uh just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and until then i'm out